What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and before this video starts, I actually want to make a little quick announcement thing. We're actually looking for new members to join the server, so if you have any interest in playing and you just never really felt like applying before, take a look down below in the description. There's an application video, and you should totally apply because it'd be awesome. Um, yeah, so that's what I would say. Now, on with the video. Look at my butt quack. My butt quackers. I'm going quackers. <laughs> That was my attempt at doing a THX intro. Welcome everybody, my name's Chris, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Unoriginal Craft. Alright, it's time for some more adventure. Why did I place those dirt blocks? I don't know. I don't even have a shovel on me. Great, fantastic. Okay, so, today is a very exciting day. Because, uh, what, what does this say? Run, for the agents of death are upon us. Our sins have been weighed, and the end is nearing. All shall become dust. The world was once desolate and will become so once again. No clue who posted these signs up. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of that around the place lately. Okay, so last episode I started building this thing and I also did like a big um, introduction. Or I started, I started like building like this part of the wall. I'm like, okay, I guess I'll just cut there and I'll cut back to when I'm done. And it just never happened. <laughs> so off screen, I've actually been working on a bunch uh, mainly this place, but we're gonna stay at this place for last because I'm actually pretty proud of how this turned out. So, um, but first we're gonna come over here and take a look at all the other progress I made. By the way, um, I believe from this right here all the way to maybe like here or so, like that was not covered in vines, so that's been covered in vines. I also made a ladder here and made it so my little dirt pillar thing wasn't touching the arena anymore, just so it doesn't, you know, ruin any of the beautiful things about it. So, on all four sides, I actually came down and dug out pretty much. Uh, what the end goal is going to look like here. Yeah. And this is what the uh, the meeting room is going to look like. One of them is kind of complete. That's actually what we're going to be working on today. Uh, it's all carved out and all the proper blo blocks like for walls and flooring and roofing is all done. All I really want to do left that's left still, at least for this area, is decorate it. So we're going to come actually look over here now. And as you see, I used... Um, I used fences, I used pretty much everything cobblestone, all the stones minus the 1.8 stones. Um, yeah, you see I have some blocks raising up, I have some blocks sunken in, same thing with the roof. Placed as many vines as I could, I also placed some glowstone, I didn't really know what else to do for lighting. Uh, I tried to kind of conceal the glowstone a little bit, oops, I just pressed a bunch of buttons. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. Uh, a lot of people, when I see people build like, desolate areas, they always start with like, mossy cobblestone on the bottom and then as they go up like the things are either more ruined or less ruined or something but it's more of a gradual thing but what i noticed like considering i've been to a lot of like broken down houses that have been like abandoned for like 50 years or whatever things don't decay at a gradual pay pace everything decays at different rates so everything just kind of looks like a huge mess instead of like a gradual thing um yeah here's the stairs all I, the only choice i really had for stairs was the um just normal stone brick and the cobble so that's real. I didn't really get too many choices there. I don't want to put any wood in this because I don't feel it really fit. Some land glitches here. I actually might get rid of that, or I just might not. <laughs> I'll see is um, the moss stone walls and cobble walls here. Let's see, uh -huh. and then more vines, more glowstone. I really worked hard to make sure I don't have a single torch in this place. Um, yeah, stall looking all purred and stuff. And I use the walls here to kind of ingrain the fact that it's like a different section and then it, get, it gets really cramped here and the reason that is oh cool I did not I did not even realize I made like a kind of doorway kind of thing here I made it cramped on purpose just because I feel like a lot of a lot of slaves were definitely put into the arena for the entertainment of people like at least in the uh, Rome, Roman Colosseum Colosseum and I definitely wanted to give it like a compact like no room to move kind of feel when going through here and then we come to the main room which is this, which is really empty right now. I redesigned the roof a little bit compared to the other places. Oh, there's some grass there. Gotta fix that up. I don't want to include any dirt in this or any just smooth stone simply because I didn't really feel it looked too good. As you see, like, I did the walls, so, like, I had, like, little alcoves, especially, like, here. I really liked how this turned out. Wait, actually, no, I really liked how this turned out right here. You see, like, it kind of breaks in a little bit and goes in a bit farther. And, yeah, I used stone, stairs, and all that and you see some of them go higher and all that. There's no spot in here that you can't just walk over. 
I made sure of that, that you just don't get stuck on any block. You don't have to jump or anything. So this is pretty much what this looks like for now. Uh, I did have to do a whole bunch of terraforming. Alright, let's go back outside and show you guys my terraforming skills. This is... Um, I almost didn't really feel like doing all the terraforming off screen just because I kind of wanted to show you guys what it looked like before and after. But I ended up doing it all just because I was like, well, there's no point showing on camera then coming back to it and it just or just doing it later. So I just did it all off camera. Um, as you see here, there's a good spot to actually showcase it all. Uh, I dug out where the, where the roof's going to go. It's all flat land here for now, so this isn't complete. All this, like, starting from where the tree and all, actually, no, it's, it's probably about, eh, about here and on. This was all swamp water. And up to where these trees start as well. So this was all water, so I tried my best to make it look as natural as possible. And I think I did a pretty good job. Like, this entire, like, kind of, uh, I was going to say plateau, but uh, peninsula kind of area here. This was all man-made. This tree was obviously in the water before. I believe it was just one of those trees that were that already, already in the water, though, like this one. Uh, actually, I could figure it out right now just by digging here yep see oh god oh phew <laughs> as you see there's not much of a layer i'm gonna build up a little mountain here as well i do i is this i don't know why that water is there all right <laughs> so uh yeah i pretty much wanted to finish one pa uh one passage and then come back to it later and do the rest of the passages this is uh, uh it looks the same uh, the only way i actually got lucky where i didn't really have uh, any of my digging like cut up above the land was I believe on this side yeah nothing broke up above the surface here or did it nope that just looks like a creeper explosion yep or actually it looks like a cave um this side this side is gave me the most annoying t actually no that's not true this side over here gave me the most annoying times let's see again it's more noticeable here actually this area is not complete yet I finished this, but I guess not. As you see, you can definitely see it here that this looks very man-made. I'm going to make it more hilly and put some more blocks. Uh, I'll show you guys what one of the complete ones looks like, or the only complete one. Uh, oh, it took me a second to even find it. <laughs> uh, this used to be, this river used to cut right through here. So I broke up the river, and I had a whole bunch of dirt and made it kind of hilly. It looks kind of man-made, like this doesn't really look too natural. But I don't think it really looks too bad. I'm kind of happy with it. So yay, I did it. I did it. Okay, so that's pretty much why I want you guys what I have worked on with the arena. And that's all in like within the span of three days. I probably spent like a good like ten hours on it at least. So that's pretty cray cray. I saw that sunflower and totally thought it was a creeper, but it was not. Uh, let's go over here and take a look at um, first off this gazebo because I thought it was kind of funny. People playing practical jokes. Oh, there's a Christmas tree. I heard talk about a Christmas tree. Um, guys, remember when Chris came on the server? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna ban you, whoever wrote this song. I'm just kidding. Yeah, so I've been pretty inactive lately. I'm gonna leave that there. I hate the showing signs, even if it's like, oh, you're so funny. Break. But I'm gonna leave that there. If someone wants to break it, sure, go ahead. If not, then whatever. Um, yeah, so I've been really busy with work. Oh, yeah, this is another thing I didn't really take... A look at before on the episode I don't think it spells out unoriginal crafting yellow and blue flowers which I think looks freaking awesome what's this oh you know what this is from one of the application videos the 10 shall become one okay then uh, this is actually someone applied on the server and then I believe CJ was his friend and then like the guy that was applying was like look I'm already on the server and this house just magically appeared here and then everyone pretended to act stupid which turned out to be CJ actually uh, built that for him and played along with it. Uh, I don't think he made it in. And actually, I just found this yesterday. Server Relic Chris's first base. I thought this was really freaking cool. I don't know who did this, but I freaking love you. This is awesome. So, yeah, this is, I believe, one of my first episodes I showed this, I think. Maybe? And let's actually go in here, because I have actually a little bit of a secret to show you guys. Chris's chest. No touchy. I touchy, sorry, Judah. So this is when spawn was just one big plains biome still and it was all crazy times and there was nothing built here. And this is actually, yeah, there's nothing here for like miles. So open the chest, there's nothing left in there. However, there's a secret with this place. I put this chest here when I first came here to begin with um, because I really like being sneaky. So I use this chest as kind of a decoy. What does that mean? Well, if we dig over here, ah, 
And I have not actually been in here yet, so I don't know if this has been touched at all. Oh, you know, I bet someone did find this to place all that dirt there. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure I had two layers of furnaces there for an eye. No, I'm destroying the path a little bit, but I'll fix it. Oh, this chest is empty as well. I think I left some junk in there before. So uh, that's actually kind of a little secret base I had here. So I thought that was really cool. Do you agree? He's a cool guy. Oh, no, I got flint. Well, crap. Well, I lost your gravel. Sorry, guy. <laughs> oh, no. You don't want cobble here, right? There's no cobble on this path. No, there's not. All right. Place that there, and hopefully this path, I just, hopefully I just didn't ruin everything. Ruined it! Well, wait, is there anything in the fern ice? The fern eyes? Well, actually, it's kind of a little sad that probably that goes to show that probably that was actually found. I'm just being silly and like, yes, no one found my secret. But, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's actually, I just found that the other day, like I said, actually yesterday. And I thought that was really freaking cool. So, whoever did that, thank you very much. That's adorable and freaking awesome. All right, let's put that there. I need coarse dirt. Uh, is there anything else I really wanted to show? I don't really think so. Oh, you know what? There is one more thing over here. Okay, coming over here. Uh, I believe... I may It was maybe Hippo or someone. We were all on the server a little while ago messing around on Skype. I think I was actually on a meeting and then... Hippo was like, Chris, come here. Okay, it might not have been Hippo. I'm just going to go ahead and say Hippo. Uh, the Unoriginal Craft Graveyard. He's like, did you build this? I was like, no, what is this? He's like, it's a graveyard. And Nova is the only one here for some reason. Wait, is that coarse? That doesn't look like coarse dirt. Wait, what? Someone built this graveyard and no one has any idea who built it. No one's claiming it and everyone seems like uh, very um, truthful in saying that they didn't build it. And no one seems to know who the heck did this. I don't know why only Nova's grave is in here. Uh, I might. I actually do plan to come over here and fix it. I was actually going to do that this episode, but I forgot to bring in any supplies. So <laughs> I guess that's not happening this time. But Nova is obviously not the only one we've lost. So I'm going to go ahead and add everyone else to this graveyard next episode, I guess. If I, nothing doesn't come up. And I hopefully I'm not just saying that in the next episode. I'd do like a freaking caving episode or something stupid. But yeah, so I don't know where that graveyard came from. No one seems to know. It's been a mystery. It's been the mystery of the server. The spoopy ghosts built it, and probably, probably what happened. Um, this path isn't complete. This path has been incomplete for so long, but it's slowly getting built because it wasn't too long ago where this none of this was stone. It was all just dirt. Pot reserved by CJ. Great, beautiful. So I guess it's just kind of turned into um, that natural. Naturally, it just kind of changed into like a big square area. <laughs> Uh, at the actual spawn area though, there's nothing that's really on plots, it's just kind of build where you want and it's kind of a big mess, but I kind of like it, it's more natural in my opinion, Judas Pizzeria. Alright, so enough messing around, uh, I'm going to go back to the arena and we're actually going to build a thing today, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why is this a random pink carpet here? Is something behind here? Is it, is, it, is it a trap? No, I actually probably shouldn't just carelessly walked on there because that could have easily been a trap <laughs> fall on my death or something it would not it would not surprise me if that was a thing but no it is not and we're back here is our chest of items to place in the room as decorations we get some iron stands some item frames some carpet some signs use those boards you know what Instead of just explaining, maybe I should just start placing stuff. Uh, I also got trip wire hooks. I just kind of decided to do this at last second. All this I prepared last night. Um, I'm gonna need five of, yeah, five of each chest. Uh huh. Some dead bush. You know, I'll just take them all. Screw it. <laughs> uh, all that. Yeah, sure. Sounds good. Um, need. Yeah, I'll just, just take half stack. Uh, vines, spruce. You know, take all that as well. Um, map, I don't know. Two maps per room, I think I decided. And we're also going to make four beds. Uh, four times three is twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I counted wrong. <laughs> and twelve of these as well. Uh, once again, I counted wrong because I do not know how to count. <laughs> do I have everything? Yes, I do. Okay, then. Let's go over here. 
Doo -doo -doo -doo. This is also the part of the video where I call if anyone from the Unoriginal Craft server is watching this still, I am going to need help. Uh, what I need help with is probably doing the other four sections of the Coliseum or the, these like passage room things. Why do I need help? Because I really don't feel like doing all four of them because this, just doing this one took forever. And I could really use some help. I could supply everything. And heck, I might even pay you if you're lucky. Teehee. But yeah, so it'd, it'd be great if anyone out there... Ah, I forgot to crack stone brick. Dang it. Um, yeah, it would be great if anyone out there could uh, give me a helping hand. Help me finish this section. I'm not going to, you know, enlist you to do the entire thing for me. I'm obviously going to help. But it would be great if someone could help out. So if anyone wants to do build something and they don't know what to build... Uh, let me know when we'll figure some out. Okay, we need some crack stone brick as well, because I forgot to grab that. Everyone to 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 Lee. Uh, just take a stack. Minus one, because I'm just too classy. I, I don't know. Okay, whee! Ow, my legs. My legs! What if that's how everyone got around? They're like, hmm, I really want to get down this mountain. Or I really want to get down this cliffside. But I don't want to walk. I'll take too long. Yeah, I'll just break my legs. Psh, screw it. Okay, so I'm gonna build a table. So uh, I guess we'll make the center of it right here. Hmm. Great. Um. <laughs> I kind of I did a little bit of this in my creative world. I almost feel like I should show that right now as well. Me building this area. I didn't do too much of my creative world. I pretty much just use it to test a whole bunch of ideas I want to do for the Coliseum, but I don't want to waste time doing it in find out it's a big waste of time. Um, so one of those ideas was actually to make a table. So, whee! Ah, oh, crap. The, clover, the clover's the clove stone. Not the clove stone. Dang it! Uh... Does it mess up my block level, my light levels? Uh, well, it goes down to eight. Monster spawn at seven. So no, somehow it doesn't. Cool. Hmm. Good to know. Let's get that off the screen. Great, excellent, exquisite. That was actually, that, for some reason, I thought that was going to be a lot more difficult than it turned out to be. Um, I believe, yeah, I, I did use these to build, just make chairs as well. Just kind of scatter them around a little bit. No, that doesn't look too good. This is what, actually, maybe I should just go check out my crib. You know what, Let, let's show you guys that. Why not? There it is right there, the top one. Yay! Oh, I just do have them like that. Interesting. Kind of randomly have them around. This is, you guys can kind of catch a quick glimpse of what I want the room to kind of look like at the end. Once again, mostly what I did in my creative roles, I just kind of threw stuff around and be like, yeah, that, w that looks like it would fit this room pretty well. So, yeah. Well, I guess that's it for, you know what, well, did I already take the crafting branch away? Yes, I did. Of course I did. That would just be too smart for me to leave it till the end to get rid of it, right? Yeah. Okay. Do is that gonna be enough? Yes, it is. I just want one more. Excellent. Well, four more it is. <laughs> Whatever. All right, there we go. Excellent. -y. Um, so that's pretty much what I'm, all I'm gonna be doing with the stairs. I also want to just kind of place like a carpet, just kind of randomly around. Just, just kind of make it like I don't want it to be all the way around the table because I mean. It, carpet like this is supposed to be a kind of like a ruined building so after a while the carpet would deteriorate deteriorate mate um what do you what are the pots for you might be asking well that's silly of you to ask because it's pretty freaking obvious i'm gonna place them around here i'm just gonna put a bush in i did it in two that's weird i expected it to make a noise when i put it in there but nothing happened great Awesome. Um, armor stands next. This one there. Whoa, that's kind of weird. It kind of like moved the, the top peg right there. kind of looked like it moved a little bit. I don't know how easily these break, actually. Oh, that's so weird. The, do they, are they affected by gravity? I don't want to place it there. I don't know. I don't know how easy these are to break. Oh, they are. That's cool. Okay, they're pretty easy to break. Great. <laughs> 
Oh, sitting up in my chair. Um, great. That's all I want to do there. I also want to use signs as kind of a thing like for hold up collapsing walls. Uh huh. These are actually taking a little while to show up. A little longer to take. These are taking a little longer to show up than I thought they would. Uh huh. Um. Hmm. Well, these walls are really flat enough to put these on. Maybe just right there as well. Having a little nice little trimming on the floor. <laughs> Can I put it there? Oh, I can't put it there. Yeah, something like that. I don't want to use up too much stuff. Because then it just gets messy, right? Uh, Alright. We have item frames. We use these signs. Beds are going to place over here. Um, let's make the rest of the beds. I was going to make all the rest of the beds, but then I figured out you can't stack beds. And I was like, well, that is unfortunate. And then I just didn't do it. <laughs> oh man. I counted wrong. Well then. Dang it. Eh. Nope, not the map. I also kind of goofed up on the maps a little bit. I'll show you guys about that in a second, though. Let's break that. Put it here. And grab another bed. I might fill these armor stands up a little bit. Like, have random pieces of armor on them. I'm not going to complete them. Um, because I don't feel like it, they should be completed. You know, come to think of it, these beds look really out of place compared to the rest of this. It's like, completely ruined area. With cracked tables and dead plants in here. And then there's just these nice beds. I would sleep in those. <laughs> um, put some item frames around. I don't want to use too many of these because I do know these cause leg. I don't want to place a few around. Mm-hmm. I think that's enough. And then two of them. I should place maps. Can you just place maps on walls? I don't think you can, right? Um... No, you can't. Okay, so the maps are actually... I, I kind of stupidly opened them all at my house. So these maps actually don't really lead to anything, or they're not anything, like, relevant. I just kind of wanted to use them as um, decorations. There we go. Oh, you know, one thing I did actually forget to make. Do I have it on my list here? I actually made a list last night. Paintings was one thing I wanted to use, but I didn't put it on my list for some reason. Well, that's silly of me. I thought I had everything. I was all proud because I'm like, yes, I have everything ready. It's going to be excellent. And then I just somehow failed anyway. It's great. <laughs> um, hmm. I think I'm going to break this and place it somewhere else. And here we're going to place. Ooh, did I miscalculate the amount of chests we need here? No, I didn't. Great. So in each one of these chests, this is going to be filled with... Uh, these four are gonna be filled with armor, and then these four are gonna be filled. Are these two are gonna be filled with bow, arrows, and swords? Oops, I pressed escape because for some reason I thought I was in the chest. All right. Um, what else do we have here? Is that it already? Well, we have vines. So I'm gonna save that for last, mostly because I uh, I don't wanna place I don't wanna place vines until I know where everything else is because vines are pretty much gonna cover everything else with. I do want to put a glowstone light here. Maybe have like a fence coming down or something, but I did forget to grab it. Although I could make the sticks now. Um, I mean the fences. Do you, how do you, I actually forget how to make fences. Do you do, just do it like that? No, those are trap doors. Uh, four, so I'm going to actually need eight. And that's not how you make a fence. How do you make a fence? Oh no! I made a terrible mistake. I could have sworn it was this. One second, guys. Okay, I'm back. So this, I think it was a new recipe, and it totally makes sense because I mean, we do get different colored fences now, and since all sticks are all the same sticks, it'd be hard for. That's gonna say Nintendo for um. These guys to know where, where uh, how to tell which fence would be what color so I, I think that's why the I'm get well I'm get I'm guessing the recipe was changed but I'm not 100% sure about that do I have any glowstone out here I better cuz otherwise I just restarted this for nothing um, that's totally upstairs isn't it dang it it's totally upstairs so I'm gonna think of it I don't even need this ladder why do I have this ladder here I have vines climbing up to the top of every single spot you know what what I could, I could destroy that I don't need it I don't need that crap. There's my glowstone. 
Is there anything else that I need here while I'm here? I don't think there is, so let's just leave. Pretty dang sure we already did that, Chris, Mr. Christopher. Alrighty then. Breaking my legs. Okay, so. Uh, one thing I actually did want to talk about is why I have not been posting any unoriginal craft in quite a while. Uh, first off, I want to say I feel really bad, and I'm sorry, everybody. I let you all down. Yeah, I like that. Lights up the room quite a bit. Uh, I let you all down. But for real, though, because... Oh, man, I don't want to break this part of the wall. Can chests catch fire? Are chests flammable? Hold on a second. Alright, so chests are not flammable. So that's good to know. Because I want to... I need to find a place for this fire pit, but I... Hmm, should I just make a small fire pit then? Perhaps I should just do that. Uh, or maybe I could put the... Hmm. Maybe I should put the beds over here and make the fireplace over here. So each each section of this place, I kind of don't want to destroy because it looks really cool. Like, I like this section here too. Well, you know what? Let's break the beds. Do, do, do. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And put all the stuff there. And I apparently missed a bed. Of course I did. Why? Hello? Oh, it's because there's a fence post there. Dang it. And the stairs. And the good. Dang it. Uh, uh, oh, man. What do I put there now? Well, I do have cracked stone brick, thankfully. So we'll put that there. And that there as well. Uh, when building this place, I didn't really place anything randomly. Like any of the blocks randomly. I tried to make some kind of rhythmic pattern. Like, I put moss stone beside moss stone. And I tried to put, like, uh, the mossy cobble beside this stuff. Because, you know, it closely resembles itself. I try to go from like cobble to cracked to stone brick. Like I try to make everything like make sense to where it would be. Hmm. I feel like I don't have enough light over here. Eight. No? It's fine. Surprisingly. Look at that beautiful map of my area. Wait a minute, is it? It looks like that spawn platform right there or something. No, because there's my house right there. I don't know what this is though. Someone build something near my house? Weird. Okay. So, once again, we're going to jump in my creative world for a quick second here. This is what the fireplace ended up looking like. Oh. <laughs> ended up doing a three, hey? I could not remember how I built that fireplace at all. Uh, in fact, oops. Oh, no. I, I actually did kind of uh, mimic this fireplace after a website called minecraftfurniture.net. I'm looking at the URL right now. Um, because as you might imagine, my ideas aren't always original. Ha, ha, ha. I don't know if I want to break that glowstone, though. Well, I mean, whatever, sucker. I don't have my, uh, whatever. I have fortune, too. It should be all fine. It was not all fine. <laughs> I'm missing a glowstone dust. Dang it. Okay. So, hmm. Where do I want this fireplace to come out from? Um, I didn't make any cob- Dang it, I don't have any cobblestone slabs either. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so one, two, three. There we go. Now I have a basis for where my freaking fire pit is going to go. It's really helpful to me. Look, there's clay. Why know why there's clay here? Because this isn't a freaking swamp. Might as well collect this clay while I'm here, actually. <laughs> I can always use my clay. Um, this series is actually kind of coming to an end. Or not the series, but like the probably the server life map thing, you know, the map will probably get reset in like a few months time, which is cray cray, but I'm really happy that uh, it lasted as long as it did. Um, do I have, I do have, I don't, there, kept cobble, there we go, great. That's the one I don't really care to waste. Um, but yeah, so it's coming probably close to an end here. Uh, probably the next few months it'll be ending, and actually come to think of it, I probably actually should probably start talking about... <laughs> why I've um why I why I've been away. So sorry, that was a bit of a tangent there. I just I don't know why. I just really wanted to talk about the sadness of the map. Probably resetting probably somewhat soon. Uh but yeah, the reason why the map was reset or <laughs> what? <laughs> Apparently I just have the map reset on my mind. Um the reason the reason why I've actually been away is mostly because of work. Um I just had the busy season where the longest I worked was dang it, you're in the way. You're in the way! The longest I worked was... Uh, oh, actually, I have to think about that. Wait, should this be pulled out one more? This, this, 
is not working how I thought it would. Um, yeah, the longest shift I worked was like some crazy like 16 hours or some insane like that. So, needless to say, I was not able to really get on the server very much. And by not very much, I mean barely, barely at all. I was on maybe like five or six times in the span of like a month. And it was like, uh, most of those times were even on for just like a few minutes, so I'd hop back off. And you may be thinking, well, I mean, I managed to keep up with most of my other videos. Like, I don't, there was only probably a few days in that month where it's like, I didn't really, I didn't post a video or anything. And the reason behind that is that it actually takes a lot less work to edit a video, at least for me. I don't know about everybody else, but at least for me. Hold on, I've got to get back on the thing I'm modeling this after. At least for me, I know Editing a video takes a lot less effort than, um, ooh, that's all messed up, than, uh, getting on and trying to be creative and trying to be funny or, like, you know, at least entertaining. So, there's that and just, just getting on here and trying to just build something and then all the preparation time. It's just, I was not in the mood ever. Like, even when I would get home on days, like, I would somehow manage to get off on time. It would always be, like, uh, I would get home and then I would just be, I'd just be simply too tired to really want to do anything. So it just kind of just my unoriginal craft series just kind of was just sitting here rotting for a while, which is really sad and I feel really bad for everyone else. Since you know this is my server, I should be the one playing on here the most. It just never kind of happened. Um, so I'm hoping now that I'll be posting a lot more. Of course, I do have a pretty busy life still, so I don't know how like well this is gonna go and I say this every time that you know I'm gonna start a post anymore blah 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 this looks terrible holy crap that looks ugly not centered at all what the heck man uh oh I see how this worked it's all crazy looking because of this little thing here so we're gonna fix this up a little bit there we go um but yeah so now that my crazy period of work uh, has been finished pretty much um, what is pretty much expected is that it's gonna die down completely at my work as in people will be getting sent home early which is fantastic because that'll mean that I'll get to spend more time on here and actually building stuff and hopefully finishing up this arena because I do still want to finish this before the the map reset and maybe have some fun rounds here I just, we're not gonna be able to do the thing I originally wanted to do like have monthly tournaments where everyone comes in and it's like I'll enter and I'll bid one di or I'll put in a one diamond entry fee and then like at the end of the month whoever wins the most battles or whatever wins like a bracket tournament gets all the diamonds everyone else put in um but yeah so that that's pretty much my reason why uh we're actually well above 30 minutes now and I pretty much just finished the fireplace just like that that did not take long at all um so thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed please for free to leave like and subscribe if you already my name is Chris, and the next one, we will, I don't know yet, we'll probably do something else with the arena, or maybe we'll build a new shop at spawn. I do actually have an idea for a little mini shop thing that'll totally gonna rip people off. I mean, I mean, not rip people off. Yeah. <laughs> but I do have a little fun idea for a little mini, it's not even a shop, it's like just a little stall you could try your luck at. Um, so, yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, I hope to see you guys in a bit. Oh yeah, one thing I actually did not do was put mines everywhere. Dang it, that sucks. I forgot to do my main purpose for coming here. Do 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 Placing vines everywhere is so fun when you're with me. I don't know why it's specifically fun when you're- Whoa! Oh, apparently the vines burned. I did not know that. But, you know, that's good to know. Alright, you could- you could stop now. You- no, no, stop, stop! You apparently can't put- why can't I break those- Oh, I see. I didn't realize we had a little thing there. Eh. Alright, see if that burns. I mean, I guess we just can't place vines <laughs> near there. I uh, don't want to go too crazy with placing vines, at least, like, above here, since the vines will reach the floor eventually. Um, ooh, that felt like a big drop, but it wasn't. Okay, so. Can I place vines on chests? I cannot. Alas. Is it there? I do really like how I kind of, like, this was originally supposed to come to a corner right here, but like I kind of broke it down a little bit. I mean, that's definitely not how natural degeneration would work in the real world, but it's, it's how it's working here. <laughs> all right, replace all that. I do need that on there. Great. 
Great! I don't know how well, I don't think these vines really mesh too well with the item frames, but oh well. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, the next episode, this will all be grown out and stuff. Uh, I still do want to place a few vines coming from the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah, alright, that should be good. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. We'll see all these vines grow and then place more or take away accordingly. Um, oh yeah, also, we're actually looking for new members. So if you somehow manage to make it all the way to the end of this video, and you have an interest in playing with us, uh, I'll leave a link to the application down below. Um, yeah, goodbye, bye!